cooking, um, making a stuffed codfish, we're stuffing it with a crab mixture and uh, some steamed shrimp, or just uh, raw shrimp, so I think we're going to maybe put them on the grill a little bit to uh, brown them up, get a little color on them, uh, before we put them into the, uh, the, shrimp, uh, the uh, fish to make sure they cook completely inside. I'm only cooking at 200 degrees and um, I'm going to cook it up to about 145 with my Englander model 201 pellet smoker. And I'm having some camera issues so hopefully this works out and we'll bring it back as soon as we get uh, set up for the, uh, the um, preparing of the fish and everything. So stay tuned. Well, let's hope this camera doesn't crap out on me. I'm not quite sure what's going on with it. The picture seems to be darkening up on me. And that's happened before, and I, all my settings are checked out. So what we have here is two and a quarter pounds of codfish. I think I'm gonna have to trim it down a little bit because of its thickness in some parts of it. We're about to find out. Yeah, I think I'm going to trim it down a little bit in that thick area just to Make it a little bit more consistent uh, all the way through so it cooks evenly. Okay, so as you can see, I've already got it's basically a crab cake mixture that I have on there. I'm going to wash things up. I think I sort of kind of second guessed myself because I'm cooking this pretty slow. And um, I think I'll be alright without having to uh, pre cook the shrimp. I got a few of them peeled. I'm not going to go real crazy with peeling these things because I want to. I don't need a whole lot of shrimp on here. So we're just going to basically just. Cut them in half and load it up. Okay, so I'm just going to go with a little bit of this Uncle Steve's Gator Shake, pretty much on the um, inside here. back so on this outside here I'm going to go ahead and um, spray a little butter on it for right now I'm probably going to come back and lay some pats of butter on it afterwards and then good old bay Did soak my um, 
obscure. In water for a little while. I'm not going to go to the trouble of trying to stitch this thing up. Just going to hope that this works. Keeps everything together. Okay, so we have the Englander model 201 pellet slash sear on the left hand side but it's running uh, about 175 right now I put the uh, codfish on a rack God, I need to get used to this stuff here but codfish is on a rack and we're just going to set it in here do its thing and we'll bring you back later on and I'm also burning um, which I didn't mention um, lumberjacks applewood pellets wish I had some alderwood rust Jones smoky ribs but um, best I can do okay a little more than two hours we'll do a temperature check definitely starting to get flaky put some more butter on it Time to wrap it and bring the internal temps up. All right, time to bring the temps up. All right, y'all. This has been a long, painful wait. I've been wanting to dig into this thing so badly. Let's finish your garnishings. All right, let's cut into this thing. I'm just going to use a spatula. I can tell you right now, I'll be eating this whole thing tonight. Stuffed codfish with a crab cake mixture and golf shrimp. And we gotta show some love to the Gator Shake. Can't wait no more. Get all my pictures taken. I want to try a piece of the fish. Four hours smoke. First three hours, three and a half hours at 200 degrees. Wrapped it. Oh my God. I wrapped it, bumped it up to 350 degrees for the last 30 minutes to bring it up to 145 degree internal temperature. Applewood was the smoke. Hopefully y'all can get a gander of that. All right, we are back for the recap. This thing is absolutely out of this world. Went to the seed, uh, seafood department Thursday and um, wanted to just make something different for my uh, YouTube channel. And I came up with uh, two codfish fillet, uh, fillets. I did trim them down. I'm probably going to deep fry them, batter them, and uh, deep fry them in another cook. But and then I, you know, got some crab meat, made the crab cake mixture, and some. I uh, only got about a half pound of fresh uh, shrimp, easy peeled. Um, raw so I just start working things in my mind and there you had it it was uh, a thing I mean to tell you it is out of this world Uncle Steve Gator Shake on the inside and a little bit of Old Bay on the outside um, I did baste it uh, or spray it actually with butter 
probably three times during its cook. Three and a half hours at 200 degrees um, in the uh, Englander 201 pellet uh, smoker. And then the last 30 minutes I pulled it off, wrapped it in foil. So I was happy with the outside, but I wanted to make sure all that crab stuffing and shrimp was done on the inside. So I wrapped it with foil and then uh, brought it up to 145 after I turned it up to 350 degrees for the last 30 minutes. You saw it. It is absolutely excellent. Um, man, I, and I'm probably going to eat this whole thing for dinner. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I will be. Thanks again for watching Sleeper Barbecue. Until next time, be sure to like and subscribe. Would much appreciate it. Thank you.